Hey guys, so welcome back to a room that hopefully you recognise. So I spent a couple of days back at the beginning of lockdown turning this room, which is the box room in my flat. It's very small and doesn't have that much purpose. Um, but I spent a couple of days turning this box room into my walk-in wardrobe and it was a huge project, probably one of the biggest DIY projects I have done to date. Um, I vlogged the entire thing and went through the whole process so if you do want to go and watch that I will leave it linked up here um, but I promised in that video that we would get around to filling the wardrobe now I've I've been living with this wardrobe for a couple of months now and I have bits and bobs here and there but I never actually went through the proper big process of turning this into my main wardrobe so I still have quite a few things sitting elsewhere but the purpose of this video today is to just turn this space into something functional um, a space where I can see everything that I have I can pick outfits um, because realistically I'm, I'm kind of starting to think about wearing clothes again there's probably another reason that I've put this off for so long is that I haven't really been getting dressed in the way I normally would so um, I want somewhere I can see outfits I can see everything I've got and get dressed with minimal effort on my part in the morning. Um, I also, I think I'm going to have a lot less space in here which is a good thing. So I want to really whittle things down and just keep in here, not only seasonal clothes, I'm going to try and rotate it as the seasons go past, but also things that I, I just love. Things that I love and that are from brands that I know I want to wear all the time and almost kind of look at this as a large scale capsule, so things that are all going to work together as one. So, I think I'm going to be saying goodbye to quite a few things. I haven't really done a big wardrobe declutter since I moved, which was a couple of years ago now. Wow, was it? Year and a half, not quite two years. Um, so, I'm going to be saying goodbye to some things. Um, I'll link my Depop down below because I like to stick a couple of bits on there um, and other stuff I will find homes for and give to charity. Um, so, if you want to go and check that out, I will try and remember to leave it down there. My Depop username is just, I covered the as is everything on my social media platforms, anywhere you want to find me. Um, so let me show you how this room is looking at the moment and then we can get started. So this is the space that I'm working with. There are some shoe shelves first of all down this side. These are actually quite deep, you can fit a lot in here and they do also pull out. There's kind of a few bits on here but I want to go through and organise them properly and, and have like sections for things. I've kind of started that by putting some trainers in here, I've got some boots down at the bottom but there's still quite a few more pairs that need to go in there. Across from that are some shelves which I have bags on at the moment, that was my plan for them but I'm thinking maybe I'll put some knitwear on here, that might just be a seasonal thing, but I'm thinking particularly this top shelf could have something like stacked in it. And I do have a pile of knitwear down here, which is very poorly folded and doesn't quite belong. The bottom shelf has this rack underneath it, which is actually designed for trousers. So you can hang like your trousers and jeans across here and it pulls out and pushes in. I think that's a genius idea. Um, at the moment, I just have bags hooked on them though. So I wanna kind of transport all my most worn jeans onto there. This is the longest section of the wardrobe in the corner here and it goes back a little bit deeper. I've just got coats on here at the moment but I can't remember the last time I even wore a coat and these are all quite thick wintry ones so um, I'm thinking, same with this side actually, that I'm probably gonna pack some of these away. Maybe just keep a couple like trenches, owl and lighter jackets that I do wear around this time of year but this is gonna be where I wanna store things like dresses at the moment, which I'm wearing a ton. This side is slightly shorter because I have some drawer space down at the bottom, so there's a little bit less room for hanging. I've just got blazers on here mostly at the moment, but this I think is gonna be for all my tops, um, shirts. I will keep most of the blazers here, I think, because especially like these linen and lighter colored ones I do wear all the time in summer. So um, I'm thinking shirts, blazers, tops, and then down at the bottom here, these drawers are actually really cool. I have this like skinny one at the top, which has all these little sections for accessories. I'm gonna put some sunglasses in there. I've already, well, I've put three things in here so far. I've got a belt and two pairs of sunglasses. My problem with this is I take them out and I forget to put them in. Um, so this was originally gonna be for knitwear, but I've just rammed it full of loungewear. <laughs> which is kind of appropriate at the moment. Um, I have some really random stuff. I've got t-shirts and I think these are bikinis. And then at the bottom, 
is an emptier drawer where I have a couple of pairs of jeans. These are gonna be moved over to here, I think. And that'll free up some space in that drawer to probably put some knitwear in and some wintry bits that I'm not gonna reach for as often because they'll be down at the bottom. So I realize there's quite a bit of stuff hanging in here and most of the space is already taken up, but I think a lot of it is gonna get swapped out because it is pretty much all seasonal. What I need to do now, first of all, is go and take a look at my actual current wardrobe where the majority of my clothes are living right now and really go through that um, quite ruthlessly, decide what I'm gonna keep, decide what I'm gonna sell or give away and then what is actually gonna make it here um, into the walk-in wardrobe. So most of you will have seen this by now if you've watched my various home videos but this is our built-in wardrobe which is the only wardrobe space in the flat the tricky thing about it is that it's not actually in our bedroom it's completely on the other side so you have to walk through a few rooms to get here which is a little bit frustrating when you're getting dressed in the morning but it definitely is absolutely huge i mean it goes all the way across this wall i even have like office supplies and things in one of these welcome to my narnia of clothes um this one is split into two sections so the bottom is joe's we're gonna ignore that and all of this is mine so I've mainly got jumpers, t-shirts, blouses, shirts, and then some midi skirts that also fit in there. And at the bottom I've kind of folded up jeans and trousers and stuff like that. There is a longer hanging space at the end where I have dresses. So that is something I'll go through as well. But I have a rail here. So this is my strategic plan as to how I'm gonna do this. I have this collapsible rail, which I've just put up for now. These are really handy actually when you're sorting things out because instead of just creating like a floor drobe of clothes and not knowing where you're coming or where you're going. If you put everything onto a rail, you can just flick through it and see what you have. So that's my plan. I'm just gonna go through every single thing and have that little Marie Kondo moment. Does it bring me joy? And if not, we'll find somewhere else to put it. So um, I think I'm gonna pull out what I want to move and leave the bits that I don't wanna keep in here. I'm gonna try and be ruthless. So first of all, I'm just gonna pick out my absolute favorite stuff and then maybe whittle down from there. Let's see how it goes. progress has been made this is everything i have taken out of the wardrobe it looks like quite a lot i think it's just because it's quite spaced out but this is everything i've gone through and i've decided i definitely want to keep minus a couple of bits that i actually found stuff down the back that didn't have a hanger so i've just hung them there um this is what the wardrobe is looking like at the moment inside a lot emptier there's mostly knitwear left in here i think it's quite hard to judge what knitwear you're going to be wearing when it's it's not really knitwear season so um i think what i'll do is i'll fold a lot of that up and put it in a little vacuum pack bag which is usually what i do when i'm storing my knitwear a lot of t-shirts that i decided were a bit old and holy and i have better quality versions of um some shirts and then a couple of skirts that i'm not really into the print of anymore I actually still need to go through these jeans, that's what I need to do next. And there's a couple of like, more jeans, <laughs> more jeans, and then shorts I think in the corner here, and skirts. I actually managed to find some old gems, who remembers this Topshop dress which is like backless, it's really long. I wore this to a festival last year. That seems like a million years ago. And this is one of my favorite dresses, this Realization Par polka dot spotty one, I love that so much. I've also got this Faithful the Brand dress, which I, I don't think I've worn. I plan to take it on a summer holiday and the summer holiday has yet to happen. A lot of these dresses are just like white cotton ones, which seem to be my go-to and my favorite. I've got my new Arquette one on there. Um, and then this one from ASOS, which I showed you yesterday. I love that dress so much. 
I try to be quite ruthless with t-shirts. I've just got three here. Um, I have a couple more sitting elsewhere, but I wanted to really narrow it down because I have too many t-shirts. So I kept this like off beigey creamy one, which is from Uniqlo. These are all crew neck t-shirts. This, which is my absolute favorite, um, the heavyweight crew neck from Arquette. If you're looking for a t-shirt, look no further. This one could actually do with going in the wash. It's got makeup stains on it, lovely. I was thinking about this Saint Laurent one. Um, I don't have a lot of branded designer well, I don't have a lot of designer stuff in general, but I don't have a lot of branded stuff and something about this logo, even though it's very, very subtle, it's kind of putting me off a bit. So I'm, I'm having second thoughts about that. I've got lots of shirts because I live in shirts. I'm wearing a shirt right now. This black linen one is a favorite um, and this cream one. And obviously I've got my white Zara shirts, my white Arquette shirt and some linen shirts from Uniqlo and M&S there. These I'm a bit confused about. So I have quite a few of these black, like racer style strappy vests um, and a couple of white and gray ones too. And I wear them all the time. They're so versatile. Um, they go with so many different outfits and I get a lot of use out of them, but I, I don't really like hanging them like this. I feel like you can't see them when everything is, you know, pushed together because they don't have sleeves. I don't know, you can't really, you can't really see that they're there. And I think if I folded them, I also wouldn't know what I had. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused about what to do. Look at this, this is the state things we're getting and there's three, three different ones on that hanger. Not sure about that. Um, and then we have knitwear. Oh, and a rogue play suit. I've got six, six things and there were quite a few in there. Like I said, I'm still not sure if I'll maybe just box them up for next, or well, for this winter and autumn or if I'll um, get rid of those. But these ones I wear all the time. This H&M knit I wear constantly. This one I think is also H&M. No, that's ASOS. It's a good cropped length. I love a cropped jumper. This is a H&M one. Um, Zara. This is one of my favorite knitwear pieces. It's like one of those little half zip down, big oversized jumper from ASOS. And this is, I think ASOS too. ASOS do really great knitwear. We knew that, we all knew that. Okay, we're in here now. Probably a slightly more neglected section of my wardrobe that I don't tend to ever go through. So, there are some of my favorite things in here. Um, my birthday dress is in here, which is actually kind of quite new. I know this was quite a controversial one, but I adore it. It truly brings me so much joy. I've also got the uh, Easter spring chick dress too which I also love it's the same shape actually it's that um that like smock oversized dress love everything about it um I've also got things like I've got quite a few slip and midi cami dresses in here these are all on one hanger as well I think at one point I must have run out of hangers because everything is on one hanger but on this one is one of my absolute favorites as well it's the Allegra dress from Realization Par it's so beautiful also, I have this on here, which was my birthday dress from last year. Um, it's just a really simple, slinky slip dress from Warehouse. And there's a black one on here too. I love slip dresses. I think they are so easy to wear. I have this amazing, amazing mustard colored, look at this dress, which um, I was planning to wear to a wedding in two weeks time but it's no longer happening, unfortunately, which is very sad. I think it's rescheduled now for next year, so hopefully by then this dress will get some love, but it's just from ASOS. It still has the tag on, which is so sad, but oh, it's beautiful. I'm really excited to wear that when I eventually do. Another most worn favorite dress is the Realization Par one. I'm, I'm a big fan of Realization Par dresses. I know they're quite expensive, but they are made of beautiful, beautiful quality material, and the styles are just perfect. Um, this one is actually kind of similar, but it's from Zara. Another polka dot number. Very into polka dots, wasn't I? Who remembers this? Whew. Who remembers this dress? I don't really wear dresses often, but when I do, they seem to have quite a lot of memories attached to them. I usually wear them for some type of special occasion. This green dress, which I also wore to a wedding, which was the bargain of the century. I think it was just like 30, 40 pounds, and I loved it. Such a flattering dress. I'm gonna move these to the end with everything else. It's hard to know what to do with quite statement 
pieces in your wardrobe. So like the pink dress that I bought for my birthday because I wanted a special birthday dress. Um, I'll probably wear that quite a few more times but it might not be for like a year or a year or so. So having them in a space that you use daily almost seems a little bit of a waste, a bit unnecessary, as much as I'd love to stare at it every day. I do think I need a place to put those like very special dresses that I won't ever part with. Um, and I wear again, but not right now. So maybe they need to stay in this side of the wardrobe actually, and um, more kind of everyday, most worn pieces and things like that can have the space that they would take up in the main wardrobe. day two of this wardrobe clear out and switch over. I've managed to choose the hottest day of the year to finish this. <laughs> I am boiling right now. We're gonna move past that. I've actually just emptied out these um, hanging spaces. I've taken all my coats and my winter things that I just, I don't need to wear right now. Um, and I've put them away. So I, I think for now, I'm gonna keep hold of them. And maybe when it comes to winter and autumn, I'll go through them then and I'll do more of a clear out of those because it's hard to judge. I think I've said this already in this video, but it's hard to judge what actually you're gonna need when it's not the right weather. Uh, so yeah, I have a lot of space now, which is great. I can see exactly how much I have to work with. And I am pretty confident that I uh, am gonna have lots of room. There's a couple more things I wanna do in here first. I want to organize these drawers, which I'm currently sitting on, and my shoes. I wanna sort out the shoes in here and just make sure that everything on there is um, a pair that I'm wearing regularly. I'm looking at my handbags now and I'm kind of thinking that I might leave those until later but we'll see and um, that should be it actually. I'm going to put some trousers, some jeans on the racks down there and there's not much other to do than bring in everything that I decided to keep and hang it all up here. So let's, uh, let's get cracking on with this today and hope I don't melt. There's not much I think I need to clear out of these drawers. I just need to organize them because right now they're not really functional. I can't see everything I've got, which is a pain. And I'm just kind of picking stuff off the top and not wearing everything in here. So I'm gonna use my favorite folding method, which I might have to remind myself of via a YouTube video, but I'm gonna stack them all facing upwards. So I basically can see everything and it's, it's like a little file I can sort through. Um, I'll get to see colors and fabrics and I'll kind of just know that way what I have in here. So this drawer is literally all loungewear. Uh, it's the top drawer because it's my most used and it's a very important drawer to me. So we've got to make sure it is organized and functional and easy to use. So these drawers are already looking so much better than they did. This is all my loungewear folded up um, and I've tried to keep everything together. So pairs um, and I can just literally grab those and see everything that I've got. Very happy with that. I did the same actually with my t-shirts down here. So I've just folded them up in a way that I can see everything I've got and I've kind of gone color wise. If they've got like a print or a pattern, I've tried to keep that at the top of the fold so I can identify each one. Looks a lot better. And also I've um, taken any t-shirts that I had hanging up down and put them in this drawer so they're all together. And also I think hanging a t-shirt is kind of a waste of, of space really. So now everything is there. I still have this little random pile of bikinis and swimming costumes, uh, but we'll save that for another day. And then in the bottom, I actually put all the knitwear that I decided to keep. So just a few of my most reach for most warm bits, things that I might pull out now if it gets a little bit colder, but not my entire collection of jumpers and things like that. So I've just got a few like cardigans some pullovers, just anything I might need to have to hand now. Uh, I also filled out this drawer finally, which I've been meaning to do for, well, since I put it in. All my sunglasses are in here now, which is great. They've been kind of gathering dust 
on the windowsill at the moment, taking up space. Um, and this is really great, so I try to organise them. I've got some Celine ones here together. I've also just put all the different styles in the same spot, so cat-shaped. Um, these two from Key, which are similar. These, like, shorter 90s style, my Ray-Bans. Um, and then just a couple of extras there. And still this one lone belt. I only really own one belt, so that is all that needs to be there. But that is so much better and I can really see everything that I have now. Okay, I think it is finally time for the big reveal. Not the biggest of reveals, but that really took it out of me. That was a much bigger job than I expected. I'm gonna show you what the wardrobe looks like now. What I'm not gonna show you is the huge pile of clothes I now have to <laughs> sort through, to organize, to sell, to give to charity, to give away. Um, but I'm really happy actually. I feel like I've really streamlined down what I have in here. And I can see myself wearing all of these alone together, which is kind of just the idea of the capsule wardrobe. So let's have a look. So we're looking a lot fuller now, fuller than before, but full of things that are actually so much more wearable than what we had before. No more coats, lots of summery dresses, light layers, shirts, t-shirts. Um, so yeah, let's start over here. Like I said, I haven't touched my bags. I've kind of propped a few out to look a little bit nicer, but that is just another day. That is a task that I do not have the capacity to manage right now. Expect to maybe see a handbag tour, clear out collection type video, because I really could do with just at least going through what I have here and trying to organize them. So a couple of coats did make it in. I've just got a few of my favorite trenches. They are, uh, in the corner there because occasionally I feel like trenches are necessary even in this weather. Um, the main kind of portion of this side of the wardrobe is dresses though. I've got a lot of my midi and maxi dresses here which really are the things I wear most in the summer. So these are things that I'm going to be picking out every single day, I can tell. Um, very into my white cotton dresses right now so I've got plenty of those to choose from. Um, there's also this very adorable patterned one which is from Urban Outfitters and then a few little slip dresses too. All in all I think quite a nice selection to tide me over. So then onto this side. So I really went through the um, cami little vest tops I had, decided to hang a couple of them but keep them right on the end so I can see them and they don't get like swallowed up by the rest of the clothes. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. I can see everything that I've got. Um, I tried to put this not only in colour order, but also order of item. So we have the lighter vest tops, then I've got a couple of knits and little thin cardigans, more summer appropriate knitwear, um, and then some longer sleeve tops. Obviously shirts, linen shirts in particular, make up quite a large portion of this wardrobe. White shirts. And then I've got blazers here too. So I've kept my blazers on this side just because I feel like they hang better here. Um, and they might have got swallowed up in the corner there. So I've got my blazers, I've got a leather jacket, leather shirt in there too. Just some options to have if I do wanna wear some more layers. So all my most worn jeans are now on this pull-up rack. I've got five pairs on here. And really, I don't know if anybody needs more than five pairs of jeans. I've got three white ones. We've got um, a skinny, a straight, and a wide leg. Um, and then I have a couple of pairs of black jeans too. Another. Uh, skinny, those are my weekday row jeans. They're kind of like a straight skinny leg and my most worn. Um, and then some Levi's ribcage jeans as well, which are more cropped. So my shoes are also much 
more organized now. I've tried to keep things together, like I've got all my loafers on this one, sandals, slip-on slides. Also trying to keep things that I wear the most sort of at eye level, so I've got my Birkenstocks there, my Everlane flat glove sandals, um, and then down here a couple of strappy pairs. These are another pair from Everlane, and then my Saint Laurent flats, which I wear a ton in summer. Uh, so then Towards the bottom, I've got more trainers and bigger, chunkier shoes, Converse, Veyers, Supergars, my chunkier trainers, my running ones usually go there, but I did go for a run this morning, so I left them out. I've got my New Balance, my Adidas, um, and then down here we've just got boots, Doc Martens, um, and two pairs of Arquette boots, which I love. All in all, I think a pretty successful walk-in wardrobe. I feel like everything is here now that I need. I can get dressed in the morning. I've got dresses, tops, I've got jeans, I've got shoes, I've got bags, I've got loungewear, and accessories in here. Definitely very pleased with how this has gone. Okay, so that is it. Um, I am gonna add this to my clear out playlist. I have quite a few videos like this now, which we've accumulated <laughs> over the years, so if you enjoyed this. I feel like it's almost a little bit therapeutic watching these videos so um i will leave a playlist of those linked up here so yes that is it from me today thank you guys all so much for watching like i said everything that i am gonna sell i will pop on to depop um which is linked down below hopefully i'll be able to get that up before this video goes live it should be and yeah that is it for me so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all soon bye